one of the veteran midfielders of this squad for Gabrielli this season. The midfielders will be leading the way as Grillo tries to roll around. Shot to score! Matt Grillo, full form this year. Of course, battled some injuries last season, did McGreen. Coming here down the left alley, he's gonna swing it on the skip pass up top for Zimmerman. Zimmerman trying to create with the left hand and blast it right past Caracciolo. And the Friars respond with another goal. Maybe a little bit too optimistic that time from Coffey. And the Friars quickly in transition. All alone, the shot and the score! John Hoffman able to give the Friars a 3-1 lead on his third goal of the season. So he tries to charge past Kemble. Zimmerman had his first career goal earlier in this quarter. And Leahy now trying to initiate from behind GLE, and that one winds up in the back of the net. Looked like Caracciolo might have got a piece of it. But the Friars' offense, much like they were against Holy Cross, outstanding in the first quarter. As he was setting up at X. Grillo now out high. Henricks off the deflection, and there's O'Grady. Took a strange carom and wound up on the stick of O'Grady and get him the ball. That is his first goal. Plus Grillo kind of popping in and out. Axelson hands free. Shot to score as he tags the upper left corner. Not sure if Caracciolo is not seeing the ball well. The Friars just shooting it that well. But what a laser that time from Dan Axelson, his third of the season. Move. Gets to his right hand, and that one off the defender. Still knocks it to turf and put in Matt Grillo as the Bulldogs had three black jerseys. Right Comes with Axelson now up high again. Leahy around for Hendricks. Leahy. And a big shot from Naraki and a goal. A man up goal for Ryan Naraki. Puts the Friars on top, 8 4. Friars. Wow, sharp angle shot that time from Ryan Naraki. Hardly had a sliver of space to shoot out, but somehow found the back of the net for his second of the day. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. See if the Friars can get one more off. Grillo, the spin dodge and the score. Matt Grillo once again proving that he is an elite goal scorer, his 11th of the season, third of the day. And the bench telling them to just hold on for a moment. Do not rush the possession. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Axelson fires it in. And then has a couple of words for the Bryant defense, but Axelson picks up his second of the day, fourth of the season. And the Rocky trying to load up the shot. Leahy, the shot and a score. Almost a carbon copy of a goal we saw in the second quarter from Leahy. And he now has a hat trick as well. This Ocean State Cup clash. Extended defense out of the Bulldogs. They go to the full 10-man ride here, trying to make things visual. And the long distance shot, though, easily put in by Hendricks. And the lead back to six as the Friars able to will leave the cage empty. Last time it was Hendricks with the empty net goal. This time a green on the run just blows past everyone and deposits another goal for the Friars. Number 16 on the day as a green just too fast. He'll just hold here for the final couple of seconds, and that will do it. So the Friars improve to 3-0 on the 2020 campaign. The Bulldogs fall to 0-2. Coach, your team has not only been off to a great start to start the season, but each game you're off to a quick start. What do you attribute your team's ability to get off to a good jump in the game? Yeah, it's really important in a lacrosse game to get off to a good start. I attribute that to uh, our leadership. We have a really strong senior class this year. Every single one of them plays, and, and that's unusual. I don't know if I've had that before. So uh, I think it starts with them. But, yeah, certainly getting off to a good start is nice. Now, hustle was such a big factor in this game. You out, uh, you know, you nearly double up the Ryan Bulldogs on ground balls. Uh, also clears. You are fairly successful on that. 
How did hustle have an impact on today's game? Those two things you mentioned were a huge emphasis this week. Uh, I looked at the halftime stat, and, and we were out ground balling them dramatically, um, and we were clearing the ball well. Those are two huge areas of emphasis that we drilled hard all week where they beat us badly uh, in those two areas last year. And we haven't been great clearing the ball uh, in our first two games, so it was nice to see us do well there. Now, Coach, your defense at times looked like it was giving Bryant fits. They weren't able to get a shot off there. What did you see from that unit today? Yeah, strong, strong performance once again uh, by our defense. Uh, we had to help each other a lot today because Bryant has some big, strong, determined uh, Dodgers. I thought when we did have breakdowns, Toby Bergdorf was again very strong. But um, I really, you know, hats off to Rocco Romeo. I thought that um, he allowed us to rest on defense. He, he allowed us to continue momentum, you know, offensively because he was so strong facing off for us today. Coach, appreciate your time. Congrats on the win, and uh, go get warm. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Friars win this one again, 16-9. They start off a three-game road trip when they head off to St. Joe's next week. That game is at 1 o'clock on Saturday. For Friars.com, I'm Nick Rojas.